Hey, this is Daniel Norton. I'm here in my studio in New York City with Catherine. Hi. <laughs> and uh, she came up for the, the week, I guess, in New York City. Mm -hmm. You don't know when this is, though, because we're recording ahead of time. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but she's a musician from Texas. Yes. Right. And uh, we decided we'd make some portraits. So um, I wanted to shoot kind of like a beauty shot, but I've had this, you know, this has been this conversation a lot of times about using a ring light. Um, and some people like to use it, especially beauty bloggers use them, so people think they're good for beauty photography. I find they're too flat for beauty. Like, you don't get enough contrast and detail. Mm -hmm. But they're great as a fill light, so I kind of want to show you that. So we'll walk through the process and we'll do it. So here we go. Um, I'm here. I'm actually using the, the, the Fuji uh, GFX camera for this because uh, beauty shot, shots, it's nice to have a large megapixel count. So I'm just, I have my, just my Profoto A1 here in my Shamira softbox, and I'm just going to shoot with flash. So this is going to be, number one, I'm setting up myself so that basically there's no light in the space being except for with my flash, right? So I'm gonna come in. I'm shooting currently at uh, 125, 5.6 ISO 200. So I'm just gonna frame this up and we'll take a shot. So we can see here that it's, you know, while the skin tone, it's a smidge dark, but while the skin tone is good, you can see the shadow pattern, you know, is not gonna be great. That's, that's more horror than beauty, I think. <laughs> right, so we'll see, right? <laughs> If, if, if that's your thing, you know, whatever. But if not, um, we want to fill it in. So there's a lot of different ways to do that. We could put a reflector, et cetera. But control, you know, using a light source is always a good way to add control. So I'm going to use the Savage uh, Rainbow Ring Light. And I'm going to bring it in here. We're not going to use it rainbow style this time. We'll just take it with regular white light. And what I'm going to do is kind of line it up here. And I'm going to turn it on. Now, number one, that's fine. I'm going to turn off the flash for a second, guys, so you can see what it looks like with just the ring. So, and again, it's not bad with the ring. It's just going to be very flat. So the same exposure. So we can also give you an idea of the power, right? That's very dark, right? So if we want to just use the ring, I'm going to have to, just for simplicity's sake, I'm going to bring my ISO up. So I'm going to go up to, let's say, 1,250 ISO. We'll shoot that. There we go. So now it's, you know, I mean, if you had either option here, you would take neither, you know, because neither one's great. This one's flat, right? It's fine if you want to uh, show, you know, no shadow, which is fine for some things. This is too shadowy, but what we want to do is find the place in between. So I'm going to turn my flash back on. And the way the be best to do this is kind of do it by eye. So I'm going to bring my ISO back to where it was, which was 200. And this is full power. I mean, you're using a flash and a constant light together. The, the constant light's almost always going to have to be at full power because it's so much weaker. So we'll see what it looks like like that with both lights on. Right? And that looks a little bit better. Right? We're starting to get that fill. So now the trick is just to, to bring it in. What we can do to not change, if I change my ISO, it's going to affect both. If I change my aperture, it's going to affect both. But if I change my shutter speed, it will only affect my hot light so, or my constant light. So I'm going to go do a 60th of a second, so that's one stop brighter, right? There we go. Now it's nice and balanced, right? We have shape to the face, right? I mean, a 60th of a second is not so slow that we have to worry too much about her moving, but obviously I'm on a tripod and she's going to be aware, so if you have a subject, you can just tell them we're shooting a little slower, so don't get all energetic. <laughs> it's a beauty shot, I shouldn't be too energetic. I can see dynamic and dynamic smile, we're going to be in trouble. Yeah, there we go. Good. So I'm going to come in here, I'm going to shoot a few. So here we go. I'm focusing on the eye, guys, because this is really tight. I'm using the 110 lens here at 5.6, which is not a whole heck of a lot of light. Now, what's nice about using a ring as my fill is that she's pretty much free to move wherever she wants, because the ring light will always be even on her face. That's why it's actually a really nice fill. If you were to do, like, let's say, clamshell lighting or whatever, depending on where she moves her face, it might not be as even. There you go. Very nice. Good, good, good. A couple more. Now, the other thing we could do here, that's really nice. So that looks really nice, right? Everything looks great. I'm keeping it really contrasty. Clearly, you could add a light to the background. We actually discussed that a little bit. I kind of like it dark. You're, it's very, very, very got a good, cool feel to it, right? Um, the other thing we can do, just because we feel like it, because I always do something different, and I never tell the model about this before we, so now you're getting the experience. I'm actually going to go back to 125. I'm going to go to F4. Now, I just said that affects both things, right? So I'm going to turn my flash down one stop, right? So I'm doing this because I want to just get a little more shallow depth of field. I just want to see what that looks like. Let's see. Yeah, a little more shallow. Yeah, 
That's nice. Right? And what I'm trying to do is get my focus to drop off just as the hairline hits because we've got this like dark hair. So let's really do the thing with the extend your chin forward. Like, oh, yeah, there we go. That's pretty good. Right? So we can actually have our depth of field drop off. There we go. Yeah, that's nice. So it kind of comes across. Because, you know, you want to play around with that kind of stuff. We could go even more. I don't have any more shutter speed. So if I go to uh, 2.8, for instance, I'll have to turn the ring light down. So I'm going to go to 2.8, and I'm going to drop the... This just went from a basic tutorial to an advanced one. I'm going to drop the power of the flash, and I'm going to actually come here, and I'm going to drop the power of the ring. So if I want to drop it one stop, I should knock it down to 50%, you know, in theory, assuming these lights are exactly accurate, but we'll find out in a second. Right, we're just doing math. Math is good. Yeah, oh, wow, the math's working out for us, actually. You know, and by doing this, actually, right, I'm starting to actually get a little bit of the background over here. You guys can see that coming up. So that's actually a good compromise, I think. So we're at 2.8 now. Let's do that again. Stick it in the now. It's kind of powerful. That's it. So again, I'm at 2.8, so we've got to be careful about focus, but good. Oops. Good, right there. Okay. Do this one. That's it, right there. Good. Yeah, that should get the light right on you. Yeah, there we go. All right, so let's play around like that. Good, good, good. Boom. Nice. Easy like that, right? Nice and pretty. Good, 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 good. Nice, one more. Cool. Very nice. Love it. All right, looking pretty good, right? Okay, good. And I even, normally when I end, you should know, usually the last picture, I always end with a bad picture for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> it's like, I'm just because I'm done, I guess I get to press the button. And then it's like the worst pictures on the screen when I walk over here. So luckily we have a good picture on the screen. So you must yeah. be lucky. All right, so, so there you go, right? So ring light, it's good, I think, in my opinion, it's good for a fill light. It's fine if you're going to try to just light something up. And I think that's why people use them for beauty blogging, because you just want to show everything. You want to show all the detail, right? Because you're trying to show the makeup. When we're making a photo, we want to you know, show depth and, and stuff using shadow. So we don't really want to use a ring for that, in my opinion. You want to use some kind of a smaller source that's going to come down and shape the face, and then you can fill in with your ring. So in the ring could obviously be an LED like this. It could also be a flash. You know, I just use the LED because that's what I got, right? You got to use mm -hmm. the gut. Exactly. So there you go. So I will uh, put Catherine's information in the description. You guys can follow her and uh, download her music and stuff. Uh, be sure to follow me, Daniel Martin Photographer, and subscribe to Adorama TV. And I'll see you next time on set.